And in light of yesterday's insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, the Black Lives Matter Global Network released a statement pointing out the clear double standard in our country's law enforcement response to protests of racial injustice versus yesterday's pro-Trump mob riot, saying, quote, make no mistake, if the protesters were black, we would have been tear gassed, battered, and perhaps shot. I want to bring in now Black Lives Matter co-founder and executive director of the Black Lives Matter Global Network, Patrice Cullors. Patrice, good to have you with us as always. My phone right here is yours like mine. It's full of text messages and conversations I had yesterday from all of my friends, essentially That's saying, right. what if that was us? Essentially, that That's was right. the question being asked. So you tell me, what is the answer? If all of those thousands we saw, you changed that skin color and saw us climbing the walls, breaking the windows of the Capitol. How would this have gone down? It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened, first of all. Um, we would have had cops in riot gear. Uh, they would have had a full-on response to Black Lives Matter protests like we witnessed over uh, the summer of last year, which was mostly peaceful protesters being tear-gassed, rubber-bulleted, and brutalized just for calling for the ending of the killing of black people by law enforcement. And so we would have not seen what we saw yesterday if it were black people. Um, I say it would have been a massacre if it was black people trying to charge the Capitol. And so, you know, we're disturbed. Um, the Black Lives Matter movement is disturbed. We are, uh, we have been yelling uh, from the mountaintops for um, years now that this president is a dangerous president. And now I feel like the entire world, including middle of America, agrees with us. Patrice, you talk about the discrepancy in anticipation of violence at these different types of protests. But then there also is the reality of the discrepancy in arrests made, fairly glaring between what we saw yesterday, the storming of the U.S. Capitol by armed, some of them armed men and women, versus the Black Lives Matter protests, the George Floyd protests. What do you make of those arrests, the aftermath, the response discrepancies? Well, I think we all need to be very honest about what we witnessed yesterday, which is police orchestrated much of the mob mentality. There's a moment in which the barricade gates are opened up by police officers. We need a response. We need to know why there wasn't a real um, tactical response to these rioters, uh, to these white supremacist terrorists. And we've seen time and time again over the last seven years that Black Lives Matter members who go out and protest to save our lives, to fight for black lives, are met with rubber bullets. We are met with so much force, and we are met with thousands and thousands of people being arrested. Um, I think there was about 14,000 people arrested this last summer across the country, and what, 14 people arrested? of the thousands of people who showed up to the Capitol yesterday. That's unacceptable. Patrice, we certainly don't want the events yesterday in Washington to overshadow the historic win by Raphael Warnock, Georgia's first black elected senator. How do you feel about that political barrier being broken? It's been a lot to take in these past 24 hours, but let's talk about that incredible victory. Oh, my goodness. The, the country won by having Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff become uh, two new senators to give us a supermajority in the Senate. This is huge for not just Georgia, but the entire country. We are seeing the tables turn, even with the sort of violence we witnessed right after this victory. We are seeing an evolution in this country more people want to change the way this country relates to black lives. And I think um, I'm so proud of our new senators. Um, I feel uh, so excited. That's what I spent my morning doing. I'm tweeting and t um, texting people, congratulating um, all the black women on the ground in Georgia who made this happen. And um, we have to celebrate even when we are grieving and disturbed 
by the incidences by those white supremacists. You know, thank you for ending on that note and, and reminding us as well. We do need to take a moment. There is some beauty in all of the darkness and horror that we did see play out. Patrice, it's good to see you. Thank you so much. I know we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.